Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Sincerely KSO. If it's your first time to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, my honeys. Thank you so much for joining me again today. We've got a requested reaction, and this is a song by Chuck Berry, Mr. Dingling, <laughs> Memphis, Tennessee. I've never heard this song before. Let's listen. <laughs> Long distance information to give me Memphis, Tennessee. Thank you. Help me find the party. Trying to get in touch with me. She could not leave her number, but I know who placed the call. Oh. More than that I cannot add mm. Only that I miss her And all the fun we had But we were pulled apart Because her mom did not agree oh. And tore apart our happy home In Memphis, Tennessee
just by the way chuck berry is quite a good looking man just like seriously he has a nice smile he's got kind eyes he sometimes he looks like he's shy he's about to say something mischievous like he has a look like when the audience started clapping with him I was like thank you and you know he just looked so nice he is he's, he's a handsome man he really is <laughs> just to get out of the way <laughs> Um, so when the song started, I thought he was singing about his girlfriend and when he said, oh, her mom threw us, um, her mom. So it says long distance. Let's start with the beginning. I, there's no need to talk about how amazing the guitar sounds, the high riffs and everything. He, I've listened to him with Dingling. I've listened to him with other songs and I've talked about how amazing I think he sang and he sings and how amazing he plays as well so let's just dive into the lyrics it says long distance information give me memphis tennessee help me find the party trying to get in touch with me she couldn't leave her number but i know who placed the call because my uncle took a message and he wrote it on the wall that's very simple to understand help me information he's calling with my marie when he said my marie i thought it was a girlfriend i just go my mind just went there straight a girlfriend a wife someone he says she's the only one who phoned me from memphis tennessee her home is on the south high up on a ridge just half a mile from Missis the mississippi bridge help me information more than i cannot add more than that i cannot add only that i miss her and all the fun we had so even that i was like oh he misses his girlfriend that sort of thing but we were pulled apart because her mom did not agree so i was thinking that it was a romeo and juliet kind of situation that her mom that's you don't know, remember the romeo and juliet story was their parents who didn't agree of their love so i thought he had a girlfriend and the girl's mom didn't agree for them to be together and we were torn apart our happy home in memphis tennessee so when he said our happy home i'm like oh so wait they were married or and they the girl's mom got involved in the relationship like i don't want you to be he's a drunk he's a low down dirty scoundrel leave your husband come back home maybe some other people want to be with you that sort of thing but when he said the last time i saw marie she was waving me goodbye hurry so you know waving me goodbye isn't something that you know a woman it, she, if, it, if it was broken, it wouldn't be a mature woman thing to do. Waving me goodbye sounds like, oh, was that a child somehow? And with hurry home drops on her cheek trickled from her eye. And I said, oh, it was beginning to make sense. And then Marie's only six years old. I was like, oh, his daughter. He misses his daughter. And it is the daughter's mom who broke up the home who said, no, I don't want to be married to your dad no more. Or I don't, you know until your child and he's feeling so bad about it and he's trying to get back to his daughter and he doesn't have a phone number because she probably only memorized her dad's number and didn't re you know took the message it's so sad like when i ugh, i just felt something right now sorry it just broke my heart a little bit and i felt um it's a sad song song i i i felt for him i feel for fathers in the world who are trying their best not the ones who don't even care the ones who are really actively trying their best to be in the lives of their children and that they have spouses or women who are too bitter feeling like oh if you don't want me then you don't want your children and it isn't necessarily true all a man has to do is respect you and love his kids if he wants to be around them then you give them try to work things out for the sake of your children like try to work things out it's not easy maybe because when you're in love with someone and you feel scorned or slighted you want to hurt them back but i'm totally opposed to using your children as a weapon i'm sure my parents didn't have like perfect uh, scores or test scores with regards to personalities but i never heard my mom say anything bad about my dad and i didn't hear my dad say anything bad about my mom like even when they had i don't even i like arguments i've i've seen them argue like but it wasn't like oh <sighs> Like, I will kill you. Like, sometimes when I watch all this, um, you know, this clips that they always have 10 something caught cheating, 10 parents caught doing this. And I see what 
some women say in the presence of their children, like, oh, you're a low down, dirty bastard, blah, blah, blah. And their son is right there. The daughter is right there. And the father is also like, you, B-I-T-C-A. I just feel so terrible because I'm like, can't you at least hold your tongue till your child is like, your child is right there. So it's a sad one, but he played so well. He played so well still. So, all right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell. Let me know in the comment section if you've had to deal with a difficult spouse or girlfriend and how it affected your children. If you, how, like, what, what, have you ever been pushed to the wall? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to ask. Have you ever been pushed to the wall where you had to retaliate verbally or even physically how did that turn out for you um what what are your lessons what lessons have you learned with regards to this if the the roles were reversed or if you could go back in time what would you have done better with regards your child and an ex all right guys and if you've got any requests please use the link in the description part of my reaction video head over to my website and make your request there i look forward to hearing from you i'm your girl sincerely kia so on to the next one